Hi, and welcome to Topics Basics. This video is the conclusion of my first two videos about periodic table. The discovery of the table and discovery of elements. So if you haven't watched them, please do so from the YouTube link up here or from the link in the description below. Then this video makes more sense for you. So here is the reason that I think periodic table, this table, is one of the biggest references that is out there for understanding our world better and moving forward with more discoveries and inventions. We live in contemporary societies. We always look for satisfying ground. We need better things. For that, we need manufacturing. We take raw materials and make new products from them through various processes. We constantly improve their qualities because we work for prosperity of our society. We increase the quality of our life. To do so, new technologies help a lot. In all aspects of technology, we need material and material science. In material science, we design new materials and look for different characteristics of them. If they are available, their cost and their property. After this step, we make the material and we go for prototyping. And then finally to technological design in whatever sector this was aimed for. If it works, perfect. Let's make it even better through the same circuit. If not, not so good, but not a big deal. We learn something. Let's change some detail and we go again. This is basically the relationship between different aspects of material science in technological design. Let's be more specific here. In energy sector, we have huge demand for renewable energies, batteries, wind energy, and photovoltaics. And more specifically, in photovoltaics that I spent some years of my life in researching and still counting, we have this material, metal ammonium lead iodide. It has some perfect property to be applied as light absorber in solar modules. And it's considered to be a big competitor for conventional silicon solar cells to make even cheaper electricity for us. But there is some concern with the toxicity of this material because of lead. What we can do? We go to our fantastic tool and look for an element to replace it. We learn from the first video that Newland and Mendeleev discovered that elements in one group in periodic table have some similar properties. So if we take lead off from the structure, which is 2 plus, and put tin 2 plus in, boom, we have one new material. We can even put germanium instead of lead, and still we have a new material. Or we can take iodine off the structure and put boromine there and end up with methyl ammonium lead boromide. A new material with new properties. Fantastic, yeah? Or no? This was easy? Okay, let's be more creative. We start from here. Let's consider two unit cell. We take out two lead atoms and we put one bismuth 3 plus in and one silver 1 plus in. And we end up with a new material with new set of properties. This will give us chance for new research or new technological application. Excellent. This is pretty big deal. Let's appreciate it more. To do so, I have a short animation for you. It presents how the world came together to make this happen. Every element is presented one second. I hope you have two minutes to watch this.
you made it this far. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.